What's going on guys and welcome back to the channel. Man, it has been a long time since I posted a video. I recently started posting some shorts of different stuff just to kind of get back into the loop of things. Um, but just real quick, I want to review with you guys. I had picked up something uh, for my kiddos that actually was my first ever snowmobile. Um, I'll actually put a picture like right up here um, showing that me riding that sled back in like 2009. But uh, just to give you guys a little bit of insight on the sled, it is a 1992, I believe, Yamaha Ovation uh, 340. Um, it is black, purple, and pink. Um, as a kid, young kid, I absolutely hated the fact that it was purple and pink, um, but it was a sled so beggars can't be choosers. Um, so I was able to go out and ride that for quite a few years and then ultimately sold it to a family friend who had a younger child and they've held on to it from 2010 until 2023 when I picked it up last week. Um, so in 2010, I ended up buying my 1997 Yamaha VMAX XTC 600. Um, and I've had that since 2010. That's still out in the yard. Um, and with having kids now, I wanted to, that we don't get a lot of snow here in Pennsylvania. I wanted to get it because the uh, person that I sold it to was pretty much like, hey, if you want it, 100 bucks, it's yours. It runs still. Everything is still good on it. Um, obviously, it's got its age. It's, you know. 30 years old, 31 years old at this point. Um, but yeah, I wanted to pick up my original first snowmobile that I had when I was a really young kid. Um, so I'll take you guys out here in a second to go take a look at the sled. So one other thing, it has been a long time since I posted a video and you guys haven't had a chance to really see the bar. Now the bar top is kind of cluttered because it's winter time. It's kind of cold down here. So I don't spend too crazy amount of time down here. Now I do have a little heater down here that I plug in like if I really want to do it but um, basically I took my garage downstairs and made it into like my own little NASCAR bar so unfortunately we have a kiddo sleeping upstairs so we'll do a quick walk around of the sled um, so it did have damage on the front of it from actually when I was younger um, my older brother had actually crashed into a tree so that's why that's kind of caved in but as you can see this is why I went from this to this was because of the purple and pink but for a six-year-old and a four-year-old to ride i think it's going to be a great sled it does have a studded track um there are a couple little things cosmetically like i said you know the damage up front um one of the straps on the other side is actually missing over here now i'm not going to start it up now but i will put a clip in um of it running the other day when we picked it up now it was covered in dust so it was it was pretty dirty um it's going to need ultimately you know new fuel and just kind of a once over of everything Thing, but hopefully we do get some snow this year that we can get out and ride and then obviously um, my 1997 Yamaha VMAX XTC 600 um, I've had this for a while this one has 2,000 miles and this one has just shy of 2,000 miles so um, ultimately I got this back 20, 2010 or 2009 one of those two years um, actually wrecked it was originally a black hood XTC 600 and uh, ended up having to replace the ski, uh, the control arms, and the hood on this sled. That's why it's blue. Um, but yeah, I mean, for a hundred bucks, I can't complain. Um, it is running, like I said, I'll put a clip in right after this, but so you guys could get just like a little walk around of the sled. The seat is actually in fairly decent shape. Now it does have like a little tear here, but once again, for a 30 year old sled, not bad at all. My <laughs> My 97 has a worse condition seat than the Ovation. All in all though, guys, let me know what you think for 100 bucks. Do you guys think that this was a good pickup to get my original sled back? Yeah, guys, so I mean, it's not gonna be a long video. Obviously, this is my first video back in a very long time. Um, just wanted to show you guys what I picked up for the kiddos, which ironically enough was my first snowmobile. You guys let me know what you think down in the comment section below. It was $100 worth it for that sled. Like I said, runs, drives, has its, has its cosmetic issues, uh, but nothing, we can't fix it here in the garage. Um, I think for 100 bucks, it was a great pickup. Plus it's kind of sentimental because it was my first sled. Um, but yeah, obviously you guys, those that have been around for a while um, know that it's been a long time since I posted a video. Um, while we're on this topic, um, the Duramax is still sitting outside. Um, ultimately, I'm not gonna fix the Duramax. I've made that decision uh, to not fix the LV7 Duramax. Um, we've actually got the wife's 
mother had actually passed away in May. That's part of the part of the reason I haven't really been posting and that and just have not having time. Um, she has a Volvo out here. Um, so who knows, maybe we'll do some content fixing the Volvo up. Um, but ultimately the Duramax is going to disappear. It's not gonna be here anymore. It's not a project that at this point in time, I really wanna get into. Um, obviously I've dabbled into more, you know, motorcycles and just having toys. I don't wanna be spending money on, you know, a truck that ultimately I don't necessarily need. Um, now I'm sure you're probably thinking like, well, why do you need snowmobiles and motorcycles? See, that was kind of my philosophy um, at a young age is like, I didn't want to be like ever house broke. Like I didn't want to have like a massive house. I just wanted to have a nice house with shelter and uh, be able to have money for toys, to be able to teach the kids, you know, how to fix snowmobiles, how to work on your four wheeler, how to ride these things, you know, just to be able to go out and have the money and the funds to, to go out and, and do all these fun things. So um, I guess one question I would have for you guys is what kind of content do you guys want to see? Um, I know in the springtime, I'm finally gonna be completing my 1988 Camaro that uh, I started restoring as a kid in high school, um, which was over 10 years ago. Um, that is actually gonna be brought back onto the channel in the spring when the weather's warm and it's not Pennsylvania shitty weather. Um, that is something that we're gonna be working on. We have to put the interior completely back together on that car and then um, who knows where that takes us. Um, do you guys wanna see some motorcycle riding videos? Do you guys wanna see more of the NASCAR video game stuff that I used to do? Um, I want you guys to drop a comment for what kind of stuff you want to do. And then as always, you know, if there's different things like automotive wise that I can do repairs and such on, um, I'm gonna to try to make content. Now there's been some things that I've done this year that I probably could have done a video that I just didn't do a video on because I didn't have the motivation or the time necessarily to sit down and do it. Um, for example, my bike, I put 36 inch fishtails on it. Um, that would have been something cool to have and make a video on, but I chose ultimately not to do that. Um, but yeah, I mean, moving forward, we're gonna continue to um, just get creative. I, I don't, you know, back in the day, I used to kick myself in the ass and be like, oh, you need to post this many videos in a week. Um, I think for now, I just want to keep you guys along on the journey. It's not gonna be any set schedule of videos or anything like that, but if you guys have recommendations, you know, um, one of the big things that people enjoyed was me creating the NASCAR paint schemes on NASCAR 21 Ignition. Um, if you guys have suggestions or, you know, paint schemes you guys want me to do on that, just let me know. I'll, I'll try to find the time to do some of those things. Just uh, bear with me and don't expect it to be the next day style video. Anyway, guys, I, I'm going to go upstairs and try to warm up. It is a little bit cold here today. Um, but in the next video, maybe we'll go out. We'll clean up the sleds. We'll get them all running. That way you guys can hear them. If that's something you guys want to see, let me know. And uh, like I said, drop a comment down below for what you guys want to see next. And until next time, see ya.